there is a feeling that exudes from inside of me. I allow myself to be free. Batman is not so much of a choice for me. It was a synchronicity between Bruce Wayne's life and my own. It wasn't um, a conscious decision to put on a cape and cowl to be Batman. It really is the character that is underneath. It really is the best way to deal with loss, with pain. It really is the most responsible way to express the mystery that I feel that has become myself. Being Batman for me is not necessarily a toggle or a switch per se. When you see myself suited up, cape and cowl, you are seeing the person sitting in front of you inside out. So it is not, um, it is not an acting class. It is not a character switch. It really is who I am and I'm able to let loose with more of the, the uh, society guards, more of the social protections that we use in our personalities. With the cape and cowl on, I can take those off. I can put all those guards and protections right in front so you can see. I am out every night. Most don't see me every night. There are some that do, but I am out there every night. I'm out there for the bad guys. I catch criminals and I've done it. I have actually caught criminals and I'll continue. Anywhere that you see around my home is not stereotypically what you think as being a bat cave. Not only is it my home, it is also my soul bared on the walls. You will see swords, sigh, katana, nunchakus, a bow, etc. You'll also see other aspects, but when it comes to ninjutsu, these are the skills of stealth and of weapons that I use as Batman. Anything else that you might find are all tools of the trade. This is called a sai. Nunchakus are of the most famous weapons. A ninja sword. Hand claws. This is a manual grappling hook. It's just that easy. Of course, I understand the difference between reality and fiction. But when it comes to fiction, we have the license and freedom to write a story that we want to write. Ninjas are real. They started somewhere. My martial art is ninjutsu. I'm a ninja. When you learn about ninjutsu, you can actually not only become a ninja, but then there is that character of Bruce Wayne and Batman, and no one really picks up on it, but Batman is one six foot tall ninja. So when I understand the difference between fiction and reality, reality has happened to me that I've seen the parallel. I've lost a parent of my own. I have lost family of my own. I have experienced bad events, negative events, uh, tragedies in my life that I still wrestle with nightly. 
I still have questions. I still have pain. I still have, you know, wishes, longings, desires. And it's turned out that I've now learned how to um, deal with that. And in dealing with that, one of the best answers that culminates that is Batman. might have an idea what you think my real name is, but when I'm out there in the public, you won't know who I am.